Hello, this is NRD News with the latest headlines for viewers in the Bangladesh and around the world. Security concern hears Cox's was a tourism hard. Tourists avoiding beach town mostly due to recent rape incidents and skyrocketing food prices. President invites nine more parties for talks to form new AC. President Abdul Hamid has invited nine more political parties for the talks over the formation of the new election commission. So far, the president has extended the invitation to 25 parties, including these nine, according to the Bangamavan Media Wing. Biman reduced their fares on four Middle East roads. National carrier Biman Bangladesh Airlines has decided to reduce the price of tickets on four roads in Middle East countries. The decision has been made so that migrant workers can travel at affordable prices, said a Biman notice issued on Tuesday. Mim and Sony to try the not today. Popular actor and model Biddha Sinha Mim is all set to try the note with fiancée Sonny Poddar on Tuesday, January 4. The couple started dating six years ago and got engaged last year on November 10, which was also Mim's birthday. According to reports, Sonny Poddar hailing from Kumila works at a private bank. Government plans to build metro rail in all major cities. The government considers designing and undertaking metro rail projects for Chittagong and other major cities with large airports like Dhaka. Australia reopens border to non-citizen despite Omicron worries. Australia on Wednesday reopened border to vaccinated skilled migrant and foreign students after a near two-year ban on their entry. In a bid to boost an economy hit by stop-start COVID-19 lockdowns and restart international travel. The emergence of the new Omicron variant forced officials to delay the reopening by two weeks after health officials saw the temporary pause to get more information about the strain, which so far appears to show milder symptoms than other COVID-19 variants. Israel targeted Hamas position in southern Gaza on Saturday after rockets were fired from the Palestinian enclave, security sources and the army said. Fighter jets, helicopters and tanks struck a record manufacturing site and military posts belonging to Hamas terror organization, Israel army said. Omicron wave may have peaked, says South Africa. South Africa has lifted at midnight to 4 a.m. curfew on people's movement with immediate effect. Believing the country has passed the peak of its fourth COVID-19 wave driven by the Omicron variant, a government statement said on Thursday. 23 dead in clashes between Colombian rebels. At least 23 people, four of them Venezuelans, were killed in fighting between rival rebel groups in Colombia's border region with Venezuela, top Colombian officials said on Monday. Thousands flee as floors worsen in Malaysia. Thousands more people have fled swamped homes as heavy rains exacerbated flooding in southern Malaysian states, officials said on Sunday. With over 125,000 people evacuated in total since mid December. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by visiting the NRDTV YouTube website.